Can a gay person be a true objectivist? Why or why not? My answer is yes, that's totally irrelevant to being an objectivist. If you accept the ideas of objectivism and integrate them into your character in life, you are an objectivist just like anybody else, straights or gays. Philosophy has nothing to say about questions the study of sex of which is necessary to answer. Philosophy does not specialize in one particular type of relationship. It can give us broad principles applicable to all relationships, including sex. For instance, rape is wrong because force is wrong. Sadism is wrong in sex because you're getting pleasure out of inflicting pain. It's a contradiction of values. Promiscuity is wrong because you are pretending a value from each of the women, but the minute you go, you don't really want the value. You want just another conquest, so it's self-deception. When, when you can show that an act of sex comes under a broad principle, and there's not something specific, promiscuity would be just as wrong with regard to careers, etc., then you can condemn it. But if you want to go into the details, the exact nature of a sexual relationship, and what it by its nature specifically uh, imposes or obliges uh, on a person, over and above whatever philosophy in general says, you have to study the nature of sex, which would involve a study of uh, psychology. And philosophy hasn't, doesn't do that. Therefore, philosophy does not have a view on sex being a relation between man and woman, man and man, woman and woman. There may be reasons that you know from the nature of sex uh, that would lead to a conclusion on that. But there's nothing in objectivism uh, or in any philosophy uh, that can say that, unless it's a religious philosophy, which says that any form of pleasure is wrong, and the Bible condemns uh, this form, but that's not uh, what objectivism is. As far as we know, gay and straight both originate very, very young, unknown to the person. They don't involve choice, and there is no way uh, to change them. You know, if you take that fact as a state, or at least no way in this century or probably in this millennium, uh, if you take that fact, which I think is a fact, then you cannot ask a person what, given a certain orientation, become what you, what you don't want. Start feeling sexual passion for something that leaves you cold. You cannot criticize something like that anyway if it's outside their choice and certainly not from within the framework of a uh, philosophy. I just have to add that some of the very nicest, hardest working, uh, best people I know are gays in long-term relationships. So I will not answer this question again. I think, I mean, that's as much as I can say. I've, I've answered it every possible way. So this is a new way.